In this video, I sit down with Guy and Cheryl from Veteran Adjusting School in Sedona, Arizona to find out everything I can about how their school works and why it's the best possible training for becoming an independent adjuster. Starting now. You're watching The Property IA Show. Hey, it's Matt here with The Property IA Show on Adjuster TV and for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe to Adjuster TV here on YouTube. Click on the bell notification so that you never miss a video. I'm Guy Grand, the managing director and co-founder of Veteran Adjusting School. Hi, I'm Cheryl Sin, the business manager of Veteran Adjusting School, and I'm the person you'll talk to before uh, you get into the school to ask all your questions and for us to make the decision whether Veteran Adjusting School and you are a good fit. Veteran Adjusting School is a licensed vocational school, um, licensed by the Board of Education in the state of Arizona. And we are the only school in the country that is approved by the VA to accept GI Bill benefits to train insurance adjusters. Veteran Adjusting School is really proud of its licenses, certi certifications, and approvals, and so we are held to a higher standard. We have governing bodies like the Board of Education and the VA, um, and so therefore we have no competition in that sense. Our school is very small. There's only nine students per class and only five classes a year. So um, it's important that we only accept the most dedicated, focused, committed students uh, to come into our school. The last thing we want is to take somebody's money or their GI Bill time if it's not a good fit. So uh, we do extensive interviews to determine whether you and Veteran Adjusting School are a good fit. It's important that when somebody finally speaks to me that they've done their due diligence already, um, that they've done their homework before they get to me because there's so much information you need to know about being an adjuster and whether it's a good fit career for you, whether you're going to change everything in your life to do adjusting. If it was really easy, everybody would do it. When somebody talks to me, the first thing I say is go to Adjuster TV and they can go, uh, they can learn a really lot about adjusting there. But the next thing is that I ask if they've read the uh, Guy's ebook. It gives a really nice overview of what adjusting can be like. And in there, he talks about how adjusting used to be a good old boys network and it's not anymore. Now it's not who you know, it's what you know. And most of the people that get to me, especially military uh, veterans, they know the value of a good training. We're going to take you for a six-week journey from beginning, middle to end, so that by the time you graduate, you will have a certification as an insurance adjuster, and you'll be the best trained adjuster that it's possible to be. If you're successful, we're successful. So our goal at Veteran Adjusting School is to make it so that you have a resume that will prove to your future employer that you have a skill set equivalent to that of a seasoned adjuster. Everything that I talk to you about um, from right now until the day you graduate is going to be put on paper. You'll have the training and you'll have the skills, but then when you apply to our 35 partners, you'll be able to prove to them that you have the experience and the skill set to for them to waive their two to four year work experience and they'll hire you directly out of school. Veteran Adjusting School is six weeks long. It is every single day, Monday through Friday from nine to six, homework at night and on the weekends. You will have no downtime. You will be in school for at least 222 hours and then at night and on the weekends, you'll be back in here doing homework. You have one-on-one -on -one instruction and one-on-one -on -one mentorship all the way into the field. You will learn over 30 adjuster subjects you will complete over 30 real world claims and you will experience what we call storm week. Storm week is when you actually get to experience what happens out in the real world. So you'll be calling insureds, you'll be setting appointments, you'll be doing three claims a day, you'll be going home and closing those three claims and then you'll have to do it again the next day. That gives you an idea of what it's going to be like in the real world. So by the time you get out there, it's not the first time that you're having to do any of those things. Just to add what Cheryl was saying about storm week. That's the time where new adjusters in the field are most likely to crash. So we take that fear and that anxiety about talking to an insured and, and what am I looking for? We take that out of it while they're still in a safe environment of the school. You know, we can all joke about somebody not being able to talk to an insured or we can joke about why they added this line item instead of that line item all together when we're doing our review of storm week and we review every one of those claims as a class so one student can be looking at a photo report from another student and saying wow 
that's a really good line. I'm going to start using that. And maybe there's a, a different line item or something that somebody forgot and they can go, oh. And those are the things that they'll never forget because they're looking at their work and they're looking at others' work and they're basically doing the file review for each other on that whole review that we do after that storm week and those six claims. It is very much collaborative. They're yeah. learning the theory of building a claim. Yeah, there's no exact way to do it, right? Everybody's eyes might see something different. So it's really nice to have that review of randomly the teacher's putting something up on the board and saying, OK, Joe, why did you do this? And Chris, what do you think about that? And, you know, so learning the theory of building a claim and being confident in your decisions that you make yeah. and being able to back them up. <laughs> exactly. Right? Exactly. And that's what we say. If, if you have a good answer why you added something to your estimate, then chances are it's going to fly. But if you just say, oh, I don't know, I just threw that in there, right. that's where things are going to start coming back on you. We spend a lot of time talking about the theory of why each of these steps are the way they are. More so than just, here you go, do this, do that, do this. It's, it's, it's really important to us that that experiential learning comes about through theory. You know, we say a lot in class with everybody that it's about quality, not quantity. A lot of people are looking to be a cat adjuster. We're gonna be training them not to be just a cat adjuster and chase the storms, uh, but you can be a day claim adjuster, you know, somewhere right now and you're neighborhood, somebody's hot water heater is exploding. Um, you can be an inside file reviewer, um, or you can apply as a staff adjuster. So our training gives you the skill set to do any of those. While you're here, our mentors and instructors will help guide you into the place that's going to best suit you when you first graduate. Cat adjusting isn't uh, always going to pay the bills. When there are no storms, you better know how to do some day claims. Um, and lots of people decide that day claims is better for them and they'd rather do that. So we make sure that the skill set that you have is equivalent to that of a seasoned adjuster so that you can do day claims or cat claims or inside file adjusting or a staff adjuster. And you know, so many come through here thinking I'm gonna be a cat adjuster and when they're leaving, they're like, wow, if I could like make money at home and be home with my kids, that's what I would rather be doing. And so what they come to veteran adjusting school thinking and what they leave is quite often completely different. I believe or we believe that there's three main characteristics uh, that is going to help somebody be a successful adjuster, but more importantly, a successful student at veteran adjusting school. And those three characteristics are computer proficiency, um, some experience in construction and an organized mind. And not in that particular order, but it's very important that those three characteristics are strong and that we do offer some prerequisites that you have to complete before coming here. We need to make sure everybody's traveling at the same pace so that no one person falls behind. So during my interview process, I make sure that those three characteristics that you have been prepared to come here. I need to know that you are very proficient at a PC not a Mac. You must be proficient with a PC and a Windows 10. Because we don't teach computers here, we teach adjusting. And in order to progress through our program and to learn Xactimate, Xactimate is that estimating software that you have to learn to use. In order to progress through there, you have to know the ins and outs of Windows 10. You have to understand the file management behind the scenes and where you go to find things on your computer. Because the very first day of school, if you don't know that when we're doing orientation, you're gonna be lost and you're not gonna be able to catch up. So, you know, Xactimate is a very complex program and um, it's a bear of a program. So a lot of guys wanna throw their computers at the wall when they're learning Xactimate. Um, but there's over 250 buttons and bells and dials that you have to learn in order to complete a claim. And by the time you are finished our school, you will have done that so many times, it will be muscle memory for you. But you only can do that if you know computer proficiency. The second thing is a little bit of construction experience. We require a prerequisite that we give you access to a com 
construction training course that's going to take you about 50 hours. Um, and it teaches you how to build a house from the ground up. But the more construction experience that you have, the, the easier this class will be, our program. Depending on how well you prepared yourself before you came to our program will depend on how many hours of homework you have at night. And the third thing is an organized mind. Adjusting has lots of parts and pieces to it. And you can have more than one claim at a time. And if you do not have time management and an organized mind and know how to organize files and be organized in your everyday schedule, then you will not be successful. Because if you're not proficient and efficient, you're not going to be effective. And time is money as an adjuster. We teach you all of that. We have a class on all of that. You will learn the VOS way, the right way. It's a proven method and a proven track record. And you will do it over and over and over again until it is always in your brain. We have three instructors for nine students. So if somebody's a little bit slow on the computer, more than likely we're gonna move them close to one of the instructor's desks. So we can actually give that support to the person that really needs it. If somebody's having a hard time learning Xactimate, they can stay after class. I mean, there are many days through that six weeks that at least one or two of our instructors are here until 8.30 at night. And that's kind of what we say to our students is, don't go home if you're struggling. Struggle here so we can get you on the right path. Because so many times, I know from my experience as a new adjuster, I would sit and stare at that screen for two hours trying to figure <laughs> out one button instead of having somebody there that would help me. We have a lot of students that come here that have no construction background. But that 50 hour prerequisite gives them the basics of how to build a house. Whether you've been a contractor for 20 years or a roofer or an accountant, we know through that prerequisite that everybody's kind of on the same page. I uh, videotape exit interviews on our students when they're leaving and then sometimes after graduation. Um, and many of them say the main reason that they came to Veteran Adjusting School was because they get one-on-one -on -one instruction. Only nine students to a class. I have one uh, gunny sergeant that said that he has two PhDs in education um, and that he's been a teacher and that he didn't get as much out of those PhDs as he did this six weeks. He's gotten lots of certifications in adjusting. He tried to do his due diligence beforehand, and he said he would go to classes that would be 20, 30, 40 people in those classes. Maybe if he raised his hand, somebody would be able to answer them. But for the most part, you're just putting through like cattle. Um, veteran adjusting school is a one-on-one. -on -one. You become part of the VAS family of mentorships, of instructors. Um, I had another student that said the main reason he came here was because of the class size. Uh, he chose his colleges because they were small colleges and he wanted that same experience here. And uh, now he's out in the field for almost two years um, and you can watch him online. He'll tell you his experience and success stories. Folks that have gone to other training facilities, folks that have been in the field, folks that have done ride-alongs, they come here and they're like, oh my gosh, if I only knew that. You know, we've had first sergeants, we've had lieutenant colonels, we've had sergeant majors. We've had people that have come through this school that their whole career was about training and had them come out and say, the op tempo, operation tempo of your class was way harder than anything I ever went through or taught in the military. We're gonna fill your brain with so much information. We're gonna stick the fire hose down your throat. You're gonna remember 50% of it. And when you get out there in the field and you're standing on that roof, you're gonna be like, I remember they said this and all of a sudden it'll come back. And if you don't, you'll take a picture with your phone and you'll text it to us, and nine times out of 10, we'll have an answer for you in a couple minutes. Um, the other thing that our students, I think, come to appreciate over the six weeks is an instructor will get up and walk out of the classroom. Not when we're on the podium, we don't answer phones, we don't do anything else. But if we're sitting down observing, we'll get a little beep in our pocket and we'll look and we're like, whoop, okay, here's a student on a roof mm -hmm. and we'll walk outside the classroom and we'll answer those questions. And so for the 
the student that's in the class to be able to see the level of mentorship that we give mm -hmm. outside the class, by the time they leave, they have that confidence. Mm -hmm. They're really feeling like, wow, I am part of a family. Wow, these guys are gonna like, pick me up if I fall. They really care about us and, their su and your success. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can't tell you how many of our students have left the school and, and said, I get that I'm part of the Voss team. I'm a Voss trained adjuster. And I would never do anything to hurt the Voss brand, which is really, really honoring for us. So Veteran Adjusting School right now has over 35 partners that will hire our students directly out of school, um, knowing that the, uh, the curriculum and the program here is so high quality and comprehensive that the skill set they get will be equivalent to that of a seasoned adjuster. We get all sorts of testimonials from both IA firms and our graduates. Um, and I'd like to refer back to one of them right now, which is interesting that I talk to when I'm talking to applicants on the telephone. Um, one of the things we do is we give each of our students a VAS email address so that when you graduate here and you're applying for jobs and you're submitting your uh, claims in the future to your future employers, they know that you're a VAS graduate. Um, and when they see that, they know what to expect. You're held at a higher standard, right? Um, and so I got this testimonial just a little email once from one of our partners. It says, let your new students know that when claims managers see their Voss email address, and then he says, quote, that it is a badge of honor and gives them immediate credibility. That's why you come to Veteran Adjusting School. Our tuition might be higher than others, um, but it includes a fully customized laptop with all the documents and all the programs you need in school and then into the work field. So it becomes your work laptop. You don't co-mingle it with anything else, and it has everything you need in there, including over, what, 500 resources. And so our tuition also includes that laptop, an entire year subscription into Xactimate. When you leave here, you are literally ready to rock and roll. You've used that laptop for six weeks. You know it like the back of your hand. And so everything that we give you makes it so that you can leave here and immediately be, go to work and become successful. When uh, people first call to apply to Veteran Adjusting School and I ask them, why do you want to be an adjuster? And what are the top five reasons? I want to travel. I want to help people. I want to make money. Um, I want to be my own boss because I want the flexibility. So of course, they're the top reasons that people want to be adjusters, right? And then I say, OK, reality check. Do you really know what it's like to be an adjuster? Do you know that you're gonna go out for a couple hours during the day in the morning and then you're gonna spend 60 to 70% of your time on a computer? Do you realize that? Because the last thing I want is for you to leave your career, your family, come here, spend a bunch of money or your GI Bill and not realize what you're getting into and what the profession of an adjuster really is. It's lots of computer work. Sure, you get to help people and hopefully you'll get to make the money that you want. Um, but computers um, and the knowledge of computers and the use of computers, especially on a storm. You could be sitting in a hotel room by yourself at two in the morning trying to close all those claims because you're on a timeline and you have time management that you have to put together. So a lot of people ask me about, are they gonna get a job when they leave here? Well, we can put them at the top 20, 25% of all adjusters with their knowledge and their training. And our 35 partners do want to hire you out of school because they know that the training is so comprehensive and high quality. The way that it works is that Guy usually writes an email to all of our partners uh, the first week of school. He gives them the names, the info, the contact info of all the people in that class. And then over the next five weeks, those partners communicate with our students directly. So by the time somebody graduates five weeks later, they will have an idea of who has what in their area. If they just want to be a CAT adjuster, then it's going to be nationwide. But if they're looking for some day claims, then our partners will determine whether they have claims in that area. Our goal is to make it so that you can go out and at least get your feet wet with some day claims so you don't forget what you learned here, all that muscle memory. You don't use it, you lose it. So we want you to do some day claims. And then you might find out that day claims are your bread and butter. Right. And that cats are the icing on the cake. But our setup is that guys' main 
focus is to make sure that our partners and you can hook up. And we teach you how to be on more than one roster at a time. We teach you how to be loyal to one person that's feeding you when there's no, no jobs. We teach all of that to you so that you'll understand by the time you graduate what's available for you and you're set up for that success. During my exit interview, so over the course of the first five weeks, one of our partners might be saying, oh, I need somebody in Iowa. So they'll reach out to that guy in Iowa. Others might be say, well, we're national and we have day claims everywhere. And Cheryl mentioned this, but what we really try to do is we really try to get our students out of here and find a home. We don't tell our students just go apply to our 35 partners. What I sit down and I say, this company is going to be a good fit for you because I know the, that company and this company is going to be a good fit for you. And what we, one of the things we train in the final week is how to interview the IA firm. So you're not sending an email saying, I want to join the roster. The, our students are sending an email, email saying, I want to interview with you. I want to physically speak to you. And it's taken us a couple years to get our partners to understand that it's their job to talk to our graduates. And their benefit. And, and to their benefit, <laughs> right? Because when, when an adjuster finds a home and they get two day, two day claims a week, one day claim a week, now their hand is in Xactimate. They're learning the guidelines of that company. They're learning the ethos of that company. They're learning how that company operates. And so over the course of the first couple months, maybe they get one or two, and then they see how they do, and then they get three or four, and then they see how they do. So by the time a big storm hits, they're on the first call list because they already know what the guidelines are. They already know how to turn the claim. They already know what documents they're yeah. sending up. Even if all they want to do is cat claims, running day claims lets you get in, find the home, find the company that you'd like. So many new adjusters go out there, and you know this, Matt, so many new adjusters go out, and they just take whoever hires them. And then, they don't like the file reviewers or they don't like the guidelines or they don't like anything else and they feel stuck. I spend a lot of time talking to my partners and finding out what are they looking for in what area and do they have work. And so when I'm doing that exit interview, I can say, you know, this company reached out to you, but I know they don't have a lot of claims. So let's go to this company instead. We can always come back to these guys. But let's try this company first, because I know, I mean, my, one of my main jobs in this company is to be able to keep my hand on the pulse of what's going on in the industry. When I became an adjuster, I ended up spending $12,000 and still didn't know what an adjuster was. I went to three different trainings in three different states. I bought a computer that I shouldn't have bought. I, I got a 30-day subscription to Xactimate, and 31 days later, it wasn't working anymore. And three months later, I forgot everything that I ever learned in Xactimate. So bringing everything together in one classroom, your computer, your Xactimate that's going to last for a year, all of those parts and pieces, when our graduates leave the school, like Cheryl had said, they have everything they need to be successful. Add that to our connections to our partners and my keeping my hand on the pulse of the industry, it really allows our people to leave directly from here and go out. We are an average of 23 days from graduation to first claim. People call me and say, well, you're a lot more expensive. Why shouldn't I go here or go there? Well, what I say to them is they can piecemeal their education together all they want and they can get a lot of book education. Um, and then they're going to spend just as much money trying to get into the field because by the time they buy all the things that they need, all the tools they need, all of the education they need, they're still not going to be as well trained if they just package it together. Just come to the right place the first time and be ready. Boom. If you've determined that you'd like to find out some more information, find out about Veteran Adjusting School, find out whether it's a good fit for you or if this career is right for you, just go to veteranadjustingschool.com and click on the Let's Talk button. 
it'll ask just for your email address and our outreach coordinator will get in touch with you and you'll be put in the pipeline of information. We'll send you a free ebook, we'll send you our school catalog, um, and she'll also point you in the right direction. How to get your license, uh, we have a partner, um, Adjuster Pro that will help you get your license um, and she'll teach you how to get your COE if you're a military vet we send uh, instructions how to do that and we'll walk you through that whole process um, and then you can talk to me and we can determine whether veteran adjusting school is a good fit for you and then when you're done talking to her and she gets your butt in the seat then you'll talk to me yeah, most of the time, uh, most of the time, the instructors have no idea who's coming to the school. That's my world, um, and I talk to you for hours and months sometimes before you ever get here. Because some people, it takes a year to make this change in their life. Some people, they want to go like this. But I'm there for you the whole step of the way, uh, every step of the way. Um, and then when you get here and you get into the class, I give you over to the instructors and your mentors and they take you the rest of the way. Some of the first questions I get is about, well, it's six weeks, where am I gonna stay coming there? Um, well, we got that covered for you. Uh, it's mandatory that you stay in our student housing and we learned over the first year that it's best that all of our students stay together. You come here under the same goal and the same stress, you've left your family, you don't know what you're doing and we have houses that are set up like vacation rentals. Everything you need in there, from sheets and towels to fully stocked kitchens. It's an environment that's conducive to learning and success. Every student has their own desk and their own monitors. And we find that um, students become really tight really fast. They help each other at night during homework and they stay friends forever. Uh, we become a Voss family. So when I get inquiries, um, a lot of guys, especially the younger guys, you know, they're in their 30s, they grew up with a computer in their hand, right? Um, they want to know what kind of technology they're going to learn while they're here. Are they going to be using drones? Do they have to climb a roof? Why do they have to climb a roof if they can take a picture from the sky now? Or, you know, those sorts of things. And so they ask about technology and what will they learn while they're here. We touch on all of those technologies. And not that we have lessons on them, but we touch on them. And what really happens if you're going out to a catastrophe, you can show up to a place that has no electricity. I have been on storms that had no cell coverage, right? For two weeks until they brought in cell towers and actually hooked them up. So being able to have your local computer and a printer that you can print paper out to go out and continue and do your work, to me, is critically important. So we touch on those technologies. We have students after they graduate that'll come back and say, hey, I found this great technology and, and I don't ever print paper anymore. Awesome. If you're really good at technology, great. But I will tell you technology in this business, drones are a perfect example of them. Three years ago, Everybody questioned on, oh my God, what's going to, oh, adjusters aren't going to be in the business anymore because of drones. That is not right. true. Somebody has to put their nose on that roof to see what the damage is. There's lots of different technologies. Some people come more advanced, more understanding. And when they leave here, if they like a different technology, they'll go use it. When somebody asks me about technology, I say, we're going to teach you the foundation of adjusting. So if the electricity goes off, you'll still be able to go out and inspect your claims. You'll know how to back it up on paper. You'll know how to have a schedule. And if you're computer savvy and you're in, into technology, then you can expand that. But we're gonna give you the foundation of how to be an adjuster, really, really good training, so that you can soar in whatever avenue you wanna soar. And use technology. But one of the other things that we found about technology is that it comes and goes. So some of the IA firms will be trying this and then the next week they're not doing that and then this IA firm wants that and then they're not doing that. So if you have a really good foundation, it doesn't matter what's going on around you, you can be a good adjuster, you can get claims, you can do them. So if you're interested in Veteran Adjusting School, go to our website at veteranadjustingschool.com and click on the Let's Talk button.
Adjuster TV is a premier video resource for the independent adjusting community, and we are committed to bringing you the best, most up-to-date, and entertaining programming to help you learn what adjusting is all about, if it's right for you, and how to build a rewarding career in claims, a career where you can help people in their time of crisis and earn a great living. For much more information about becoming a successful property or auto claims IA, including many more videos, free tutorials and webinars, the best gear and software for claims, and industry news and IA weather reports, head on over to adjustertv.com. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. Hi, this is Guy Grand with Veteran Adjusting School. Oh God, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> that was great, honey. Hey, hey, Mr. Insured, how's it going? It's going great today, how are you doing? <laughs> Good. Right. This is actually Guy Grand from Veteran Adjusting School. So you wanna learn claims from the most experienced veteran adjusters, but you can't find anybody who will let you ride along with them? Then let me tell you about Adjuster TV Plus. Developed by Adjuster TV and its industry partners, including the high-end training center of Veterans Adjusting School in Arizona, Adjuster TV Plus is a growing library of in-depth training videos created just for independent adjusters. Learn scoping and estimating from professional trainers and adjusters. Learn how to handle customer interactions with confidence. Learn the ins and outs of scoping and estimating exterior hail claims. And coming soon, detailed videos about how to handle smoke, ice dam, water claims, and auto claims. Adjuster TV Plus also features the very best of three years of Adjuster TV's YouTube videos, ad-free. Educational, entertaining, and inspiring. Come ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus.